called the ghetto, extravagant, reservate the track and it's militant, and I react like a convict and start killing, it's manifesting, the guards work like appliances, dealing in my sake like a lot Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Noah to explain here and today we have some major news in regards to the actual Boruto manga So I want to say to anime only fans. I apologize, but this is gonna be a little bit early I'm gonna be talking about a manga only type of video So I thank you for your support But I would click off and more than likely I have a second video coming up later today That way we can kind of make up for the balance, but this was too big of an actual moment for me not to actually discuss right now so if you're still here i'm assuming that you guys are all caught up with the boards of manga and you do not care about me talking about spoilers so we have some new information about the upcoming chapter in v jump magazine that's going to be coming out on the 21st the actual chapter is going to be out on the 20th the magazine is going to be out on the 21st over in japan and so in the upcoming v jump magazine we have some information about the final battle actually incoming to the actual board to manga so big shouts out to abdul for taking the time out to have the magazine purchased big shouts out to knight baron for actually getting the actual text translated and i want to kind of make something clear right up on the front so i've been saying for a while like yo when ikimoto said that the time skip was coming i didn't necessarily think that that was going to be in a very short time period i think that when he said that yo the time skip is coming he meant we had a certain number of actual events to actually get through before we we actually got to the actual time skip and i used the example of how kishimoto kept saying that the year kakashi was coming soon and soon ended up being 18 months so i kind of use that way to kind of tamper expectations but i will say this though when you look at this actual text it says that the final battle is coming they're not talking about number one boards versus kawaki in the time skip that's not what they're referring to i've seen people actually say that so that doesn't mean that oh the board among is being canceled that's not what that's saying final battle is more so of like how the Japanese use a lot of hyperbole in order to hype things up and I think that this is more so the case here I think that this is more than likely them saying that a crucial battle is actually coming but I do think that this is going to be the last fight that we see before the actual time skip so I think there's some double meaning here so getting into what the actual text says it says that chapter 60 in V Jump magazine according to Weekly Shonen Jump is an even greater enemy is looming over Boruto and the rest as they strive for justice. The text above Kawaki preparing for an incoming attack by the remnants of Kara. The middle text Boruto and Kawaki training. Right Damon text a new cyborg Damon has awakened. Left Damon text the time for the final battle is coming. So again I don't think that this is them saying like yo this is the absolute final battle that's not what they're doing this is more so to hype everything up i'll go a step further based on how actual boruto fights are actually kind of carried out i think that if you even see anything i don't think that this upcoming chapter is going to be a brawler chapter i think that what you're going to end up seeing is that there's going to be build up and then the end of the chapter is going to be somebody more than likely probably making a move to come to konoha or more than likely actually pulling up in konoha i lean more so to the actual side that like yo they're gonna finally make their move and start the process of moving to konoha the reason why i kind of say that is like boruto chapters you kind of get like the regular run-of-the-mill chapter and then right towards the back end of that chapter you get the actual confrontation getting ready to start and then you get two chapters following that where it's action so the first chapter is like the actual brawler chapter and then the next chapter is like your plot twist chapter and then the chapter after that's usually where the actual fight kind of wraps up at that point so boruto chapters kind of tend to actually follow the same pattern every now and then like the ishiki versus naruto fight every now and then we get actual battles to expand longer than like the three to four chapter kind of span right there but i'll say this though i think that more than likely they're taking this opportunity right here to actually stretch this out until more than likely i feel like they're taking this as an opportunity to actually go through the months of july august september and october as a way to actually get you to the time skip because by that point you can actually have the chapter where you have the fallout from the actual battle that takes place and so that'd be in november and more than likely in that time that's where i'm kind of looking at it like 
they're gonna actually drop some stuff in the actual manga where it's like, oh, we need to go on a training arc, or oh, there's a jump in time between different events that actually happen in the manga. And then the end of that chapter is gonna be a situation where then you have the actual final time skip. Kind of like how you had with Naruto chapter 237 to 238. Essentially during that time you had it to where Jiraiya was telling Naruto, when you get out the hospital, I'll train you. Sakura is going up to Tsunade and asking Tsunade to help her train. And essentially in the very next chapter, you find out that it's been three months since that actual time right there. and Naruto's anime milked that shit. They gave you like 80 episodes of actual filler at that point. And based on where the actual anime is right now, the anime is closing in on where the manga is right now. So I would kind of expect them to actually kind of use a, a opportunity like this because the anime has not used any of the moments where the manga is built in room for actual quote unquote filler. So I think that this is a situation right here to where this makes the most logical sense. You have to remember that this is a business before anything else and so from from a business perspective this gives you the opportunity to bring ikimoto onto jump festa in december and actually show off one of the character designs more than likely boruto and i know people are saying we've already seen boruto's design ikimoto's already said that he wants to actually redesign boruto for the actual time skip in particular he wants to change boruto's hair because boruto's hair is too long which i think that's basically ikimoto saying that that would be too time consuming to actually draw boruto with that longer hair that's something not too crazy right there because i remember back in the day one of the things that kishimoto was saying is like yo you know drawn sasuke you know some of the actual designs i had for the guy there were a lot of bands and there are a lot of chains and everything and that was just too time consuming to actually draw the guy so he didn't actually go with that design the same thing there was a alternate design for sasuke during the time skip so this would be volume i believe 28 the naruto manga essentially when you got to the time skip there was going to be a different version of sasuke that actually shows up after the kaze kage rescue arc when you get to the tenchi bridge arc so once you start getting in like that volume 32 to volume 34 that's when you would have seen sasuke's post time skip design what you're seeing on the screen right now was actually the design that kishimoto had intended to use at first but then eventually ended up scrapping it for what you got in the actual series i think that you're in the same situation here i think that ikimoto is going to actually change some of boruto's design i don't think we're going to see anything major but there's going to be enough small tweaks to where you can actually make the case for showing off Boruto's actual design. And just being blunt, when it comes to the actual narrative of where the manga is currently, you have to start wrapping up some part of this. Right now, we don't quite have quite enough to actually justify an actual time skip. I do think that you're in a situation where you need one more major event to actually take place in order to potentially push Kawaki to taking the karma seal. You need one more big push to leave things off on a cliffhanger. I, I don't think that just having that moment to where Sasuke is like, yo kid, let's go out the village and let's go train. I don't think that's gonna be a good enough thing. I think you need a little bit more build up. Sasuke has been kept out of the manga for a reason ever since the battle with Ishiki. I think that potentially this battle that we're gonna see, Sasuke is gonna be involved in. I think that that could be something that you see there. But I think that we're one major push away from this actual time skip. However, I wanna know from you guys, how do you guys feel about this information? Do you think that this is the right choice? to potentially try and drag this out until i guess drag out's the wrong word do you think this is the right choice to continue trying to set up things a little bit more and capitalize on jump festa as a way to actually announce that time skip let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below but as always guys if you like anything i had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share thank you so much for watching until then have an awesome day guys